Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play. This time we're entering the world of Phoenix Point. This game was created by the original creator of the XCOM series and follows a lot of the same turn-based tactical uh, aspects of XCOM. A lot of new ones added too. Really excited to play this game. Now, I have uh, gone through a little bit of it. I know some of the mechanics, but I haven't gotten even through the tutorial yet. So, let's get going. We'll start off new. Go. We're going to play Veteran. They don't have an Iron Man mode. And I don't know for my first playthrough that I would have chosen it. But I kind of like it to have that. But we're going to do Veteran. We are a veteran of this type of game. And the next playthrough will be probably Hero or Legend. And we'll do a, a Honor System Iron Man mode. Alright, let's begin. We listened to the number stations every day. I took turns with Jacob, waiting for our signal. And finally, it came. A scarab got it too. It's AI directing it to our rendezvous point. We had no news from Symes for many months. Did he send the activation codes? I was desperate to know what happened to him. The mutants were on the march again. Something was happening. If the mist was back, then it meant that the Pandora virus was mutating again. Twisting the human form into new horrors. We needed to regroup, rebuild. But first, we had to get to that scarab. Yes. I find it neat that our technology will react to hearing our signal and come to us. Okay, typical movements. This is the rendezvous point. The scarab is waiting for us right over there. Okay. We can right click and simply move there, or left click and choose move. All right, let's do so. Okay, first enemy seem to be mutated uh, humans. Um, seem to have a Cthulhu aspect to it. Uh, this the shooting uh, instructions. If they're red. It means we can take a shot. Okay, here's our second guy, Jacob Eber. Let's move him over here as directed. Tango spotted. Oh Lord. Okay. And it stops you when you see an enemy, just like in the original XCOM, which I appreciate. Finger on the trigger. Now, the more white it is up here, the better the chance of hitting him. Tango down. Well, we aren't quite ready to end our turn. Well, I guess we are. It will take your armor as you get hit. Alright, let's see here. Alright, perfect shot. Uh, there is also, you can do a free aim. Now, what I imagine this becomes really useful is you know one shot's not going to kill the monster, but you would like to either slow it down, hit that leg, perhaps take out its best weapon. Wow. Well, you can see it did knock off the pincher, but of course he died as well. Okay. This must be the Scarab. It's seen better days, but it will have to do. Jump inside. Yavul. Okay, let's move with you first. Kind of get a... Rolling out. Oh, Lord. Okay, there's him. We've got one right there. Um, he's got a decent shot, looks like. Go for it. I'm going to... I don't think he can reach you, but... 
Well, let's leave you right here. Let's leave you right here. Stand by. All right, you. Sophie Brown. Why can you not... Looks like you don't have a movement fire grid. Well, that's fine. We'll put you over here. Okay. Looks like he went around. No, there's three of them. This is different from when I played through it in the, my first time. Okay. We'll have our enemies above us. And whether if they're red, it means I have sight. You should have sight, sir. You do not have sight. Um. Well. Here I am. Let's do this. Back you up. All right, Sophie. Moving to coordinates. Ah, uh, let's try the free aim because I'm not sure we're gonna. Oh, we did kill you. Perfect. That works for me. Let's do this. Boom. Oh Lord. All right, put him down. Okay. Get to the scarab. How far can you go? Moving in quick. Zoom out a little bit. Beautiful uh, graphics. And I've had to actually turn them, turn the resolution down for my uh, recorder to record it without choppiness. It looks a lot better. Enter the vehicle. You as well. Okay, first mission accomplished. Okay, so we get experience. Very similar. Um, tells us what's going on with them. And we get a skill point. We get a skill point. After several hours traveling, the howling noises stopped. And then so did the scare up. I did a quick survey around our position while Jacob talked to the AI. There was an abandoned government reclamation station nearby. These places are usually good for scavenging supplies and equipment, but they often attracted desperate gangs. The AI gave us the reason for our stop. An emergency rescue signal from another Phoenix operative. We had a location too, right in the middle of that station. The Scarab made it clear that we should attempt a rescue before continuing with our journey. Despite no sign of the mutants, our comrade was clearly under threat. The Scarab's missile launcher would prove very useful. Cool. 